I'm going to give you five pros and five cons when you live here in Ontario, California. If you're thinking of moving to our city, you're definitely going to want to know these five pros and five cons. It's good to live here, but there are also some bad things that I think you should definitely know. That way, if you happen to relocate to our area, you're not totally surprised. Feel free to reach out. I'm a real estate broker here in the area. You can call me. I love getting your phone calls. I can provide you with priority access to the best homes that match what you're looking for. When I moved out here, it was 2016, I moved from Pasadena, working out of an office in Upland, and Ontario seemed like the most affordable place to be close to, to my job. When I first moved out here, the neighborhoods looked great, everything was perfect. And then slowly, as I lived here a little bit longer, I started finding out, wait a minute, not a, of course this town can't be perfect, what's the catch? So I'm gonna share some pros and some cons of what it is to live here in Ontario. Pro number one, um, we are located about one hour from the beach, uh, Huntington Beach. There's a dog beach there. I take my dogs there. And also one hour from the mountain. So what does that really mean? During the summer, if you want to go to the beach, you drive an hour and you're there. Also during the summer, it gets really hot. So if you want to go and hang out in the mountains, which is about 20 to 30 degrees cooler, drive about an hour and you hang out there. Now in the winter time, if you want to go skiing, snowboarding, you're about an hour away from the slopes, from snow. And when you're tired and you're done, you should drive back down and you're already home. So we're positioned about an hour from both the beach and the snow. If you want, you can go for a full day to the beach and then drive a couple hours and you're at the snow. And that's the beauty about living here in California. You actually have the beach and the snow just an hour away. So here's the con. It takes about an hour or two driving into traffic, driving in traffic to go to LA. So a lot of people here in Ontario work in the city of Los Angeles. Why do they do that? Because you can get more money for your home here than you can in Los Angeles. So they move, they get their jobs there and they move out to Ontario or within this area, but they have to commute. And then that's a, that's a tough commute. It could take one, sometimes two hours, depending on what part of, uh, of Los Angeles you're working in back going and then another one to two hours coming back so if you have an eight hour day some people have nine hour days you have to add one to two hours let's just say three hours you actually are at work or doing work activities for 12 solid hours that's half your day then you have what eight hours of sleeping let's say seven so you really only have that adds up to maybe like five hours to spend on on getting everything ready for the next day so the travel commute is really tough they're doing construction they want to widen lanes I don't know if that works. You get more lanes. It's not, it seems like you just get more people. What they started also uh, doing is adding these uh, toll lanes. So if you make enough money, then you can pay for the toll lanes and you have an express uh, drive over. If you don't, then you're with everyone else take, uh, cramped into those same four lanes. So that is a con. Now, uh, going the opposite direction, if you're going, let's say, further away, not towards LA, but inland, you're not going to really find a lot of traffic. You can probably hit 75 miles an hour going and coming back, you know, any time of the day. So the location is prime when it comes to, you know, the good parts and not so prime when it comes to the uh, having to work and stuff like that. The next thing is that the city of Ontario, I think, does a great job with events for the community. Like uh, the, they have a great Christmas parade. It, takes, it goes up and down Euclid Avenue. A lot of people camp out there like at 5 a.m. to get their perfect spot. I don't think that's necessary. I've been, you know, that Christmas parade during, uh, and also the 4th of July parade, and you can always find a spot. I mean, um, where I live, I just walk in, I'm like a block or two away from Euclid, so I just walk there with my chairs, and we, we usually find a spot. But I hear people uh, camp out there, like at 5 a.m. to get their perfect spot. Um, so those uh, two events are great. They also have that Route 66 that's coming in uh, September. It's about, actually a couple of weeks from now, and it's about a two, two and a half day event. I use a bunch of classic cars. It's really nice, really peaceful. It's a great, you know, uh, event for the family. Another great event that they do are the summer concert series. So Wednesday evenings or Thursday evenings, they usually change it in their town square. They have all these great concerts going on. Uh, it's free, open to the public. Um, all those events are free. I think the city does a great job. Their fireworks show is also awesome. They have, usually have food trucks, a live band beforehand. It, it's a great time. Um, and the parking, the way they have it, have it situated is you can't park anywhere near the fireworks show. So you actually have to take a shuttle 
right? And they bus you over. It's a school bus. Uh, the bad part about it is coming back. There's really no organization because everybody leaves at the same time. These buses just show up. It's a big mess. So that's something that I, you know, the city's gonna have to work on. But either way, we used the bus shuttle to get to the fireworks show. Went there, came back. It was pretty simple. A little hectic for, I mean, like we spent about five, 10 minutes figuring out where to go and how, how to get on the bus, but not a big deal. The city of Ontario also provides free community pools. Um, during the summertime, I think it's like a 12 o'clock or one, you can use their pool. It's by Mountain and Fifth Street. Uh, you can go swimming there. I haven't used it personally, but I do always see it in their community newsletter that they have that available. I was, man, I thought it was great, you know, free pool, go use it, come back home. If you own a pool, you know someone who owns a pool, you know they're always working on it. You know they're fixing something about it. They're buying chemicals for hundreds of dollars every year. They're cleaning it or paying someone to clean it. So if you have a free community pool that you could use for a couple hours, come back, I think that's a great, you know, that's a great use of the resources. The public library, they have a really awesome new public library, well, newish public library called the Ovid Public Library. Uh, my son, he's two years old, he goes there maybe every week and they have toys, they have, uh, you know, readings, they you can bar obviously borrow books. You could, uh, I don't know if you know this, but you can borrow a bin of toys, play with them, put the bin back, give it back to them. And there's a bunch of different bins. You have trucks, colors, shapes, whatever. There's a bunch of different ones that he picks out, he plays with, a bunch of kids are there. During the summertime, they also give them free lunch. Um, so that's also uh, something a lot easier to deal with if you have your kid having lunch at the library. I think that's pretty cool. Air conditioning, because it does get really hot here in Ontario. And a matter of fact, we are in some super heat dome. So it's like 107 degrees. That is crazy. So you can go to these uh, cooling centers like the library or Ontario Mills. Um, so the city provides these cooling centers. Again, free, no cost. Um, one of the cons, if you're driving around here in Southern California, you're gonna see that there is a homelessness problem. There's encampments, there's 10 cities. Ontario is not immune to that. So yeah, you're gonna see some, uh, some homeless people um, not in the right state of mind, probably riding their bicycles, using these public resources. So we just gotta, you know, until there's some solution or something, we're gonna have to live with them. That's a that's a that's a pretty big issue. Another cool feature of Ontario is that we actually have an open air swap meet. There's not too many, um, so around if you are local to open air swap meet, there's a lot of good deals to be had. I like it. There's uh, always something to do there. People watch. It's great. So they have some uh, cool shopping at swap meet, and then also Ontario Mills, which is an outlet mall. Uh, it also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Ontario Mills gets more visitors in Disneyland per year. That's crazy. I thought it was a lie, but I looked it up and it happens to be true. One of the biggest issues that you're going to find here are all the warehouses that are being built or have been built. So there must be more warehouses here in the Inland Empire than anywhere in the country. They just keep building them, building them, building them. Now the good news is that you have jobs. The bad news is you have trucks, you have traffic, you have air pollution. It seems like they're building more warehouses than there are affordable housing. So that's an issue. But where the, they are building housing are these new communities in South Ontario, closer to Eastvale. Brand new communities, beautiful homes. Uh, they have uh, community centers there as well. Uh, for the, those owners, you have the, you can use, if you buy one of those new homes, you have the pools to use, you have the racquetballs, uh, brand new houses. They're building uh, also in those same areas, brand new shopping centers. So a lot of new communities are being built. It used to be just farmland, right? And you know it's farmland because those new communities smell. <laughs> if you show up there, you're gonna get that 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 farm smell. You know, uh, people who live in East Vale and Norco, they know what I'm talking about. If you lived in Chino or drove around there, you get that farm smell. That is still there. Now it becomes less and less the more they build and build. But still, if you are having a barbecue and you smell some manure, it's really what it is then you know where it's coming from. It's from those older farms and the existing farms that are there. So you can drive through those new communities, Ontario Ranch, and you'll be able to see uh, a bunch of cows, like hundreds of cows, thousands of cows. And yeah, I mean, that's where uh, people get a lot of their food. Um, so that's a byproduct, is that smell. Now, as the years progress, there are gonna be less and less of these farms. Uh, they're gonna be just more housing. So when's the smell gonna end? I don't know, but there is that smell. Something else is that uh, the schools, I think uh, the way they have it set up is that there's a Chafee Unified uh, School District, which is for the high school. And if you live here in Ontario, you can go to other high schools, I think, um, like um, Los Osos, which is like grade, uh, it's been graded nine out of 10. It's really, you know, really good school. Uh, and if you live here, you can go to school up there. What's the catch? What's the problem? What's the con? 
the local high school here aren't doing so well. So there's Chafee High School off of 4th and Euclid, mm, not so good. Then you have Ontario High School, also great, not so good. I think they're like 6 out of 10 or something. So if you actually get to go to Los Osos or one of the higher graded schools, the problem is you're going to have to get there. You live in a different city, you're going to have to drive there. So let's say you're driving your kid up there. Um, that means if you have to go to work, that's just extra commuting time during rush hour. So that's the con about it. You do have the ability to go to those good schools, but you just have to get there. So that's the problem with it. So those are some pros and cons of living here in Ontario. Uh, I hope this, uh, you found this information helpful. If you're thinking of moving down here or if you think of relocating away, feel free to give me a call. I can share some good information about the housing costs and things like that. I have another video that you should check out of the average cost of living if you happen to move and relocate to Ontario, California. You should check that one out. Until then, I'll see you guys later.